All right, this is a short video on GR ADSB. Uh, I was trying to figure out a way to use SDR play equipment at, uh, in GNU Radio 3.8 with the uh, newer API uh, that SDR play has for, for Linux, the three the three series. Uh, and GR ADSB had a 3.8 branch uh, still apparently being uh, worked on. So I went ahead, that's in uh, Dragon OS LTS, um, I, I think, that, well, I'm running at least the beta 2 right now. Uh, but you can see it's an out-of-tree module uh, to, to modulate into code ADSB. Pay attention to the sample rates and why you got to go 2468, etc. cetera. Um, it does have a web page to it, uh, but I've not actually seen it pull information across from the message sync into the uh, web server so I'll keep messing with that but uh, while I have some data here I'll show I'll show it running so we've got I've just moved over this but you can the lat long is all there so you can see that this is working every once in a while I'll get an error over here um, you'll probably see it pop up in a little bit but this is using the RSP1 alpha GNU Radio 3.8 and using the soapy source uh, took me a little while and uh, thanks to the SDR play people give, uh, giving me some tips on the uh, gain settings uh, so now that I show that it's running let's start from scratch here so we'll turn off the uh, GNU radio you see I've got the, on the desktop there and saved but if you go in the user source GR ADSB examples folder when you have a look, you'll see that there is the ADSB RX.GRC. Comes up by default with the uh, USRP source, which I actually have here and have tried, and that seems to work fine as well. Um, the resolution, sorry, I've I kind of lowered it down so this is clear. I'm using a different uh, laptop um, that has a, an NVIDIA card in it that could do some real high resolution. I want to start getting into uh, doing some GPU accelerated stuff with uh, Dragon OS. So let's see. So all you need to do is drag out, look for a soapy source, drag it out onto your work area here. And pay attention, sometimes when you save the settings I hit apply. Uh, sometimes it doesn't save them. I, I look over here to make sure it's actually being changed. Um, the SAMP rate will change to FS, and I'll show why. Actually, we're going to disable this. We'll connect this. Let's open this back up. See, sometimes I don't understand. It's now see it actually changed and let's see and we need to go over to RF options we'll reference FC for the center frequency again notice it doesn't change I don't know why all of a sudden it's wanting to do this but okay let's change our game mode to specific Again, I wonder if it's because I'm overwriting. So I, I don't know, but just make sure that your settings actually change here. You got a value between uh, 0 to 59 if you put this specific, and then it brings up IFGR and RFG, RFGR settings. It's like 0 to 59 if you go outside that, you're, you're going to crash the SDR Play API. So I've just found that uh, 20 and 0 was recommended. Again, make sure that actually changes. Okay. And that should be it as far as your soapy source block. You can come up to the top, see where it's referencing, referencing uh, sample rate. Go ahead, I'll take that to 6. That should be it. I'll save it to the desktop. Replace what's there. 
Alright, I see the information coming in. And it does have the Latin long over here. Uh, and there we go. There's ADSB with SDR play equipment. Now, like I said, I've not. There's a couple things that you have to add, a couple dependencies. Uh, but if we take a look in the ADSB web area, and I've actually already installed uh, both in Python 2, which I know we're trying to get away from that, and then Python 3, uh, the following, let's see. Essentially, G event WebSocket, uh, trying to remember, G event Flask, and and if you try and run it, it'll tell you what's missing. But I'm, I think at, at a minimum, one, two, three, four, I think you need those. And then if you do either Python or Python 3 or webserver.py, you'll see in Python 3, I, I don't have that one. Oh, and it's actually maybe a dash versus underscore. Uh, but then if I... You'll see the web server runs, but I don't see the aircraft stuff, so I have to mess with that. And I've tried it in Python 2 as well, because it says on the page that... Uh, it says somewhere anyways that... Uh, yeah, incompatibilities with Python 3 exist, so I have not seen Yeah. Alright, so at least at least you have uh, this part working alright hope that helps uh, thanks